So this is the new Blink Outdoor Camera. What's the difference and is it better than the Blink X-T2? Let's find out. Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today we are going to check and test out the new outdoor camera from Blink. This is going to replace the Blink X-T2, so we'll do the unboxing, check out its features, check out the video and audio quality, and do some testing. I'm not going to compare it side by side with the Blink X-T2 because this model will be phased out anyways, but I'll tell you what are the differences and if there are any improvements and see if this camera will replace your Blink X-T2s or you need to buy more X-T2s before their stock runs out. Let's check out the features. First, as to price, the one camera kit that comes with the Sync Module 2 is priced at $100. And it gets a bit cheaper when you buy a 2, 3, and 5 camera kit. So this is the Blink Outdoor Battery Powered Security Camera. It has a 2-year battery life, weather resistant, day and night HD video. It has two-way audio, and it records when it detects motion, and it works with Amazon Alex A. Now this camera will have two storage options, which also differentiates this with the outgoing model, the Blink X-T2. It has cloud storage, and if you create a Blink account before April 15, 2020, you will still get the free cloud storage added to your account, just like the Blink X-T2s, which only has cloud recordings. But after that date, this camera will need a subscription plan. New users will have a free trial until December 31st. After that, it is going to be subscription-based, which starts at $3 per month or $30 a year for one camera. They have the Plus plan, which is $10 per month or $100 a year for unlimited cameras in one location. And your recordings will be stored in the cloud for 60 days. But before dissing this option, this new outdoor camera, and also the same with their new indoor and the Blink Mini, it can record and store video clips to the Blink Sync Module 2. Now you have to keep this box because this is the only place that says view them in the Blink app. We will talk more about this later on, so you have to keep watching. Let's check out this camera's specific specs. It has a 110 degree field of view and records at full HD 1080p at 30 frames per second in the best video quality in daytime and 15 FPS at night. This is weather resistant with an operating temperature of negative 4 degrees to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. Time to open up the box. We have the quick start guide. We have the Blink Sync module 2. We have the Wi-Fi and power status lights on top. We have the micro USB port for power. This needs to be plugged in. And we have the USB port on the side, and this is for the thumb drive that you need to plug in for local storage. This sync module is exactly the same, size-wise and ports, like the older sync module. You can connect up to 10 cameras in one sync module. For local recording, you can insert up to 64GB USB flash drive. Then we have the power adapter for the sync module, 5 volts and 1 amp. We have a short 1 meter micro USB cable. Then we have a folded up Sync Module 2 important product information. We have some mounting screws. Then we have the part of the mount that will be used for horizontal or ceiling mounting and also used to screw in or screw out the back cover from the camera and I'll show you later on how it works. Now we have the new Blink Outdoor. New sleek design. I just don't like the glossy finish. We have the camera lens in the middle with a light sensor, status light, mic and infrared LED in the front. PIR sensor on top, and we have the speaker holes in the bottom part. On the back, we have a slotted screw to open or close the back cover, and we can use the tool earlier to do that. There is a rubber flap on the bottom that covers the micro USB port. Then we have another speaker holes on the back. To open up the back cover, unscrew the screw using the tool. Then it will open up the battery compartment where you need to install the AA lithium batteries. Then we have the mount, which is the same as the one that came with the Blink X-T2. And we have the two AA lithium batteries. Time to set this up. Download, sign up, and log into the Blink Home Monitor app. Click the plus sign on the upper right corner. So we'll install the Sync Module 2 first, so choose Blink Wireless Camera System. Scan the QR code, which is on the bottom part of the module. Name your new system, which I'll name mine Blink Outdoor. Plug in the sync module and wait until there is a blinking blue and steady green lights. Choose the Wi-Fi network that you're going to connect to. 
type in your Wi-Fi's password and click join. And wait until the sync module is added. Time to set up the camera. Click the plus sign again then choose blink wireless camera. Scan the QR code which is in the battery compartment of the camera. Now choose the sync module that you are going to connect to. Then install the lithium batteries. And wait until the camera is found and connected. And if you have Amazon Alexa already linked to your Blink account, it will be automatically added. Update the firmware if needed and wait until the camera is added successfully. Time to test the live view. And yes, it works. As you can see, there is some lag just like their older Blink X-T2 system. Let's check out the settings in the app. On the main app page, you will see a snapshot capture of your camera. Click on the video icon to load up live view. Load up time is okay. Now you can save the recording of the live footage by toggling save. If not, it is not recorded. Push and hold the talk button to start two-way talk. Then you can mute or unmute the speaker on top. Clicking the camera icon will take a snapshot which will replace the current thumbnail of the camera. That's the only purpose of this. It will not save the snapshot to your phone or to the cloud. Now we have the running man icon on top which is your motion detection on or off. Click on the three horizontal lines to get to the camera settings where you can change the camera's name, battery status, and one unique feature of blink cameras are temperature monitoring. You can set alerts if the temperature is in between 40 degrees to 90 degrees Fahrenheit and you have an option to calibrate the temperature. We have motion zones on or off. And you will have a grid pattern where you can tap areas you don't want to be monitored and it will gray out. You can toggle it to advanced which the grid will zoom in and smaller grid shows up to fine tune your motion zones. Then this is new for blink outdoor and indoor cameras, privacy zones. You can tap and drag up to two privacy zones. We have the re-trigger time which is the cool off period of the camera. You can choose from 10 seconds to 60 seconds. We have the motion sensitivity from 1 to 9. Then the recording length from 5 seconds to a minute. And clip early if motion stops, turn it on to save battery life. Early notification which I'm glad that Blink added this to the X-T2 and also their new cameras. It used to be that Blink will record first for however long your clip length you set. And that is the only time it will send a notification. So your notification can range from 7 to 8 seconds to more than a minute. Then we have motion recording. You can toggle it to off if you don't want the camera to record motion events but still wanting to be notified. Okay, on this feature, I'm not sure who wants this option but I think more people wants the opposite for camera to record and not be notified like snoozing the alerts. Then we have night vision, off, on, or auto. Then infrared intensity, low, medium, or high. You can turn on or off the mic and adjust the volume. Video quality, you can choose saver, standard, or best. And best is 1080p, full HD at 30 frames per second. Status LED, on or off. If you go back to the main page, click on the sync module and this is where you're going to see the local storage option. I've added a thumb drive on mine and the sync module 2 can handle up to 64GB of USB flash drive. You can toggle clip backup to on and it says here that the sync module will perform once a day daily backup. I'm not sure what will be the option if I'm new to Blink and just signed up and my subscription trial is over. I'm assuming that this will change to not as a backup but it will record instantaneously. We will see. On the bottom of the main app page, you can toggle disarm to arm if you want the system and all the cameras associated with it to detect and record motion. You can use the running man icon to turn on or off motion detection on specific cameras. On the bottom, there's a play icon to show your recorded events which is currently in the cloud. And this is where you can play and share the footage. Time to do the installation, which is pretty easy. Screw in the mount to a wall with the included screws. Pop the camera in and you can adjust the position as needed. Now for the tool that you use to screw the back cover to the camera. It is also used as an extension when you install the camera to a ceiling. Just pop it in on the mount and you can then install the camera on the extension. And you can adjust the camera to the position you want. And as you can see, you can use this type of mounting also on Blink's older cameras. Time to do some testing. So this is the video and audio quality of the Blink Outdoor camera. So 
this is the video of the test for the link to the camera and sit and take fifteen. 40. So this is the video quality of the Blink outdoor camera and with the night vision turned on and the uh, infrared intensity is set at medium and this is at 10 feet. 15, 20, 25, 30. So this is the video quality of the Blink outdoor camera, infrared uh, turned on and the infrared intensity turned at the highest uh, level and this is at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30. When you go close to the camera, this is about 5 feet away from the camera and I'm pretty sure my face is washed out. So this is the video quality of the Blink outdoor camera and this is at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30 and this with the internet vision turned off and all my lights turned off. So we are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the new Blink outdoor camera. And I'm on my LTE connection and let's check it out. I've set the early notification on and you can see I got the notification and when you click on it, you will go to live view. There you go. So I've set the re-trigger time to the lowest, which is 10 seconds. You can adjust it from 10 to 60 seconds, but I'll, I'll always have it on the lowest. So the cool off is 10 seconds. So I got a notification. And then when you hang around here for the next 10 seconds, you will again set it off and you will get a notification. So I guess 10 seconds after the recording. So I have a 15 second recording and you'll see it got triggered again and I'll, you'll see a notification again. So after the 15 seconds, there is a 10 second cool off, which is the minimum. Then it can go as high as a minute, depending on your settings. So I'm going to set the uh, sensitivity, motion detection sensitivity of the new Blink outdoor camera to the highest, which is 9. Let's save this. And you can adjust also, it has motion zones. And let's check it out and see what is the maxim maximum detection distance. So I'm going to go wide right here. And let's try 30 feet. There you go. I got a notification. And if you click on that, you will go to live view.
This is the audio quality coming out from the new Blink Outdoor camera. This is the audio quality coming out from the new Blink Outdoor camera. Show me the Blink Outdoor. Okay. Motion detected at the Blink Outdoor. So what do you think guys? I didn't see or notice anything different or if the new Blink Outdoor is better than the Blink X-T2. Features are the same. Video and audio quality are the same. Settings in the app are the same except for the privacy feature. The main difference between the two is that the new Blink Outdoor, Indoor and the Mini will have the local recording option to the Sync Module 2. The Blink X-T2 and the older Blink cameras doesn't have and will not have this option. And they will continue to have the free 7200 seconds of cloud recording. If you created a Blink account before April 15th of this year, you will get the most out of these new cameras. You are grandfathered into the free cloud storage. So with these new cameras, you will get the free cloud recording and also a backup once a day locally to your flash drive. Now for new customers and people that signed up on April 15th and moving forwards. You'll get a trial subscription until the end of the year. And after that, you either need to subscribe or use local recording. Which I'm not sure what is going to happen. And that is why I want you to keep the box where it says view them in the Blink app. Which I'm hoping because every info online that I look, it says view them in your computer. Even in the description of the Sync Module 2, it just says backup video clips from up to 10 cameras to the Sync Module 2 in your home and view them on your computer. It didn't say view them on the app, which can mean you will not have access to locally stored recordings until you unplug the flash drive and plug it on your computer. This is what which they eventually updated and fixed when customers complained. Anyways, we will see if Blink will do the right move. Any questions, comment down below and thanks for watching and I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click the notification bell to get notified when I upload product reviews like this video, product updates, comparison videos, and long-term reviews. Thank you.